I'm very proud of what we have achieved as a council of ministers across the last year. During the election, we were faced with significant issues on the doorstep, including mental health, housing, immigration, and the state of the island economy. When we formed as a council, we had immediately legacy issues to address, including a potential £260 million lawsuit, the hospital location, Brexit, a £30 million deficit in 2020, economic substance uh, legislation, and UK parliamentarians calling for a public register of beneficial ownership. A year later, I'm proud to say that we have risen to meet the challenges we face, and we've begun as well to address the legacy issues that have hindered long-term policy development within the Government of Jersey. As Chief Minister, I've led the development of the Government's strategic priorities, including the creation of the Common Strategic Policy, which sets out Ministers' high-level ambitions for Jersey. And this is about putting children first, improving islanders' well-being and mental and physical health, working to create a sustainable and vibrant economy, uh, reduce income inequality, and improving the standard of living, and as well as protecting and valuing our environment. This autumn, I'll be bringing the government plan for debate in the state's assembly, and that will set out in detail how public money will be spent to deliver the day-to-day -day services provided by government. I've led our efficiencies programme with the objective of, of identifying and achieving more than £30 million of savings in 2019. I've represented the island internationally at two British Irish Council summit meetings in China and Madeira and with our French neighbours at the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. And alongside the Chief Minister of Guernsey, I've established the Channel Island Political Oversight Board to support ongoing cooperation between our two island public sectors and to find and support new partnership opportunities to improve services and reduce costs to taxpayers. I've chaired the State's Employment Board since December 2018 and I've led the board to the successful conclusion of complex pay negotiations with many of the government's employee groups. And I've proposed uh, the access to justice law, which provides for the first time a statutory basis for the legal aid scheme in Jersey. I want to thank my colleagues on the Council of Ministers for their commitment, integrity and dedication over the past year. They carry out difficult ministerial responsibilities alongside their constituency work, and I'm very grateful for their service. Thank you.